What's up, y'all? B-Boy Tricky, back with Magneto, and we're here to head spin five minutes the easy way. Woo! Okay, guys, we're gonna focus on four main points for the head spin. We're gonna focus on our head spin taps. We're gonna focus on our hip placement, focus on our fingertips, and letting go. So we're gonna go over a little bit of the basics as far as where we're placing our head and how we're sitting on our head in a headstand. Make sure that you're using your hips to place them back so your back is nice and straight in line. So that way when I bring my feet forward, I'm not crouching into a ball. I'm trying to stay nice at a 45 degree angle. For the head spin taps, we're gonna be focusing on quarter turns, then we're gonna be going towards half turns, and then finally into a full rotation. Okay, now to actually master our quarter turns. To do our quarter turns, all we're gonna do is keep our back and legs at that 45 degree position. Then from there, as long as we're keeping that position, all we have to do is rotate our arms through our body. Rotate, catch, rotate, catch, continue. Keep repeating that process until you're comfortable turning one quarter or one quarter-ish each time. While you're turning, keep your eyes looking at your leading leg. Your leading leg will be the first part of your body to rotate. You wanna make sure that your quarter turns are gonna be so solid that naturally it's gonna send you into your half turns to your full turns. Then when you start using your hips, naturally you're gonna be doing at least a half turn, probably a full turn. And now I'm gonna show you how to use your hips. When you're starting, I'm not gonna turn my hips back like this. I'm maybe gonna go a teeny bit, just like this. When I wanna start going a little bit more, this is where it gets a bit tricky. You wanna turn a bit with your hips, and then this is gonna move. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit more momentum from behind, and that leg is kicking a little bit more in front of me. So that's naturally gonna send me with a bit more momentum and probably force me to either do a half turn or a full turn. Your leading leg kicks directly across your body as your back leg does a half circle through your body. So when you start tapping, you wanna start using, not like footwork, not like this, just like this. So flat hand was gonna, gonna be like this. If you're going flat hand, you're gonna hear that noise, and you're also gonna slow down a lot more. When you start to use your fingertips, you notice it's a lot lighter, you don't hear it as much, and you get to travel a little bit easier without freezing in between on your taps. Sometimes when I really start to pick up good speed, I'm not only doing one full circle, I'm doing about a circle and a half. That's telling me once I probably do a few of those in a row, I'm almost ready to let go. So after you get your full turns, naturally when you have them nice and stable, what I wanna do is to start placing my hands out in front of me. You may get about three spins and you may wanna let go. Sometimes it'll take you a bit more. You may do six, you may do 10. So you wanna just make sure you're picking up a good steady pace before you try to let go. Especially for myself, usually what I'm trying to do is match exactly what my legs are doing. So if my legs are in a wide position, something like this, I'm gonna reach out towards them. I don't necessarily have to touch. That's later, it gets a bit, a bit tough to do that. But I'm gonna bring them in like this. If you need to start bending your knees, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna slowly kind of bend in. So when I started a lot of times, I would kind of go something like this and just push up. So not too far out like this. I'm trying to keep my knees together. That way when I'm here, it's so much easier for me to raise up and get that control into the drill and ride it. You don't have to go too quick, just nice and slow. Even if you're not getting up all the way first, Slow and steady always wins the race. My head hurts. <laughs> what do they? What do the people do, Tricky? You hit the subscribe button. Hey, well, you better like it. You better share. Hey, you better show some love. Hey. And I know you're gonna enjoy it anyways. Hey. And stay tuned for the boom from B Boy Tricky and Magneto. We hey. love y'all. Thanks so much for watching. And one more thing, make sure to check out my YouTube channel, C Trick, dropping that poppin' beat. Just featured on the BTS channel with J Hope, Hope on the Street. Popping it up to the song. Make sure you check out the channel. One love and peace. See trick. Bra!